All right, what is up, guys? It's one, two, three, Stealth Bomb here, bringing you another tutorial on the Soul Squad editor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make continuous waypoints, or also known as patrols. This is quick and very easy. Um, if you don't know how to use waypoints, I'm not really going to go too much over it. But if you don't know how to use waypoints, I suggest you watch my other video. But this is just like an advanced version of waypoints. Um, this shows you how to make continuous waypoints without having to make a bunch of them. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is um, you're going to want to give your units tags, obviously. Okay, so the quick way to do it is just select them, press W, and then 6 on your keyboard. You're going to type something in, doesn't matter which. And then after you do that, you're going to go to your waypoints. Hit Add, give it a name. Um, in my case, I just named it Patrol. You're going to hit Add next to where it says Order Link, and then select it. Hit Add again, and then uh, just make up your waypoints. I'm just going to make it, I'm not going to make it too long. I'm just going to make it them go in a box, like box formation. Okay. Once you do that, as your last waypoint, you're going to right click it and then you're going to select it again. Now hold your shift button and then click it again and then hit link. And this allows um, them to link together. And as you can see, the arrow points in that same direction. So they will constantly go in that rectangle form. Okay. They will not follow the continue uh, the starting waypoint that they were at before. Okay, next we're gonna now what we're doing is we're selecting all the waypoints and we're changing the radius. Now the reason why is so you can uh, they have like a better, um, more accurate like when they're walking around, so they don't just walk around randomly. Because sometimes that happens if you have um, if you have like you know larger waypoints in their radius. Okay. Now, all we're doing here is you're just going to make a waypoint. You're going to go to commands and just, again, give it to actor. Uh, you're going to select your tag um, as usual. Uh, and then you're going to, where it says action, where it says waypoint right next to that, just going to give it the waypoint it's going to start at. In my case, it's 26. And then for, for me, I'm not going to change the approach, but... Um, you can, if say if they're coming out of the map, then you might want to hit teleport and rotate or, you know, something like that. Um, and now the next trigger I'm adding is the actor state. Now this is an optional one, but what I'm doing here is I'm making it so they can actually, uh, have their speed as a walk. So it, it looks, seems more realistic. And, um, so when they do, when they start the waypoint, it, they'll actually walk instead of like moving uh, like a jog formation, like they always do when you select them over open ground. Okay. Um. All right, and uh, that's really about it for that. As you can see, they uh, walk in that constant, uh, that box formation I made earlier, and. Um, Right before I end it, I want to show you that they do constantly go in that circle of uh, that square formation without stopping. And see, by now they would have passed that waypoint I made earlier. And um, yeah, they keep going until they get attacked by the enemy. If the if they get attacked, they will obviously they will attack the enemy. And if they survive, they will um, go back to the waypoint that they started at. Okay, that's so. That's really about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns? Please uh, private message me or put it in uh, comments below or on my channel. So I'll see you guys next time.